Hello viewers, welcome to Engineering Study Materials. Today we are going to discuss about the clutches and its components. So let's get into this video. Generally, clutches are used to engage and disengage the engine to the input shaft so that we can change the gears in the engine so that the vehicle can speed up at its most. So the clutches consist of the four components that is a basic component such as the clutch disc and pressure plate throat bearing and throat fork flywheel is also a component used in vehicles for uh, improving or maintaining the stability of the crankshaft from rotation so basic purpose is to disengage the engine from input shaft and flywheel is provides the surface for clutch disc to work on and clutch disc it is plined to transmission input shaft and fits between the flywheel and pressure plate then what are the design requirements that to be followed first torque transmission torque is the force perpendicular to the rotation motion so that Torque is a major criteria because if we perform our design with less torque there is no need because it is a time waste. We should maintain or perform the design operations with the high torque transmission and heat dissipation. When we change the gears using the clutch it, uh, it suffers from the friction that is heat generation so that the heat should be dissipated and it should maintain the optimum temperature and vibration damping the vibration performed are produced in the assembly uh, causes the vehicle to become a damaged one so that it should be damped and dynamic balancing and smooth engagement effortless operation size and inertia and mass so the clutches are of some types such as jaw or tooth clutches, friction clutches, overrunning clutches and torque limiting clutches etc. So this is the part showing a clutch lining that is a friction material and this is the inner plate and this is the intermediate plate. These are fixed at the stretch. Then clutch facings. It should possess good wear resistance because while we changing the gears the clutch plate or the lining suffers from the friction and it tends to wear so that a good wear resistant material should be placed then it should perform a high coefficient of friction that is the amount of heat received and heat dissipating coefficient then it should be lightweight high heat resistant and it should withstand the rubbing velocity then clutch plates clutch facing clutch buttons are all the parts the materials used in these are organic and metallic and woven cotton fabric as used in this clutch buttons cork leather brass wire asbestos and composite because if we use metals on all it tends to failure or becomes corrosive in, so that we use the, some of the natural or the non metals such as the composites cork leather etc then rivets pressure plate repair kits pressure plate is an important component in the clutch system and the materials used are ductile steel, wrought iron, brass, aluminium and copper. In pressure plate, cast iron is the or uh, wrought iron is the major component because it should withstand the high temperature. Then it is a single plate clutch assembly. It is a component used in uh, most of the two wheelers and it, it consists of the crankshaft, trim shaft some of the parts this is the uh, clutch system in motor vehicles this way a force supplied 
so that a thrust bearing will change and the driving shaft gets engaged with the engine then it is a clutch facing it consists of a friction lining torsional damper springs for the vibration damping purpose and splined hub so that the shaft can be placed in it and springs help to isolate the transmission from the shock of the clutch engaging then pressure plate a release levers is present inside it then this is the multi plate clutch system used in four wheelers this is the multi plate clutch system that is n number of plates are present inside it then vibration dampeners are present the clutch manufacturing process is a tedious one because it performs a series of steps the steps include stamping blanking progressive or compound die the raw material is taken at a width of 125 mm and pitch 123 fine blanking and straight edge 42 60 strokes that is hydraulic the plate is fixed between the die and hydraulic punches placed on the center so that it can blank the part and conventional blanking that is tapper edge and punching bending heat treatment and finishing operations are done short painting is an operation in which the small metal balls are forced on the part so that it it will be uh, improves the fa fatigue strength and fastening or bonding that is bolt and nut are joined into it and fine blanking is a fully automated precision metal working process it is a form of a precision metal stamping in which extreme tight tolerances can be held and using additional machining steps can be avoided post process the materials are placed and the materials used are aluminium brass and copper this is what the fine blanking operation the sheet metal is placed between the die plate and a blanking punch that is either be a hydraulic or a mechanical uh, placed with the help of a guide plate so that high pressure is placed on the punch so that the sheet metal can be blanked out this is the typical fine blanking process so what are the advantages of a fine blanking process the excellent dimensional control and accuracy and repeatability through a production run and excellent part flatness is retained straight super superior finished edges to other metal stamping process smaller holes possible relative to the thickness of a material and little need to machine details because uh, if you perform other operations uh, we want if we perform some cutting operations such as we, we cannot obtain the tight tolerance as we required so that fine blanking is the best way to uh, produce the cutting operation as we done in the this uh, clutch operation then multiple features can be added simultaneously in on operation that is um, if we change the uh, blanking punch as we uh, perform in the design so that multiple operation that is if we want any projection as well as a, a cut or a v shape uh, as we need in the part just we can uh, change the design of a punch itself so that the sheet metal that is present below the punch when the punch is play uh, forced on the sheet metal it gets the shape so that uh, design is changed only in the punch so that um, easy operations can be performed and more economical for large production runs than the traditional operations when additional machining cost and time are factored then some of the disadvantages also present in this fine blanking because a slightly higher tooling cost a high tooling cost is the major problem in this kind of the fine blanking operation because we want to uh, we want more force to perform this fine blanking operation so that more energy is needed 
more uh, machinery man heavy equipments are needed and it it consumes a lot of electricity so that it is a major or a tedious task when compared to other operations and it is slightly uh, it is sl slightly uh, slower as we said before and uh, the, the tra traditional punching operations because uh, if it is fast it will not perform any high accurate uh, operations it needs uh, some time to perform this operation so that it will be slower than the traditional operations so these are all the details about the clutch manufacturing process and clutches and its components so this is a short video friends if you like this video put a thumbs up and share this video to your friends to gain knowledge and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos so thank you for watching